suits the Syrian. Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Come to Baskin Armour's for you. Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back, though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Roach. She'll take us to Care Morin. Well, come on. Displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way.
and the Third Army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Ciri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my vassals. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Raphael Elen, Kedmel Foli, Gladiv Don Eptened Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... Details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next... Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Artusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So... How do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. 
Of course. I'm off. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Quite a while. Too long. <laughs> and your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. <laughs> mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip, and is this? <laughs> now, now, calm down. And if it was right on one count, thing sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? You don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in. Not even a nice to see you jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she. Ah. Now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's up to something. Glad you noticed. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck.
Hang again. Damn it. Decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know. You lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. Hmm. You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not-so-sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt.
Signal's growing stronger. Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Warmer. Warmer. Hot. Yes? What is it, Wolf? No offense, but why all the construction? So the roof tiles don't drop on our heads? Roof tiles usually fall from the roof. You're putting up walls, rebuilding the fortress, for three people. Why? Because I remember how it was, Wolf. Before the massacre. We were twenty. And that's just teachers. As for candidates, I can't turn back the clock, I know. But I refuse to just sit and stare at these ruins. I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden, and the mages were heroes, on the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir. Ah, uh -huh. getting warmer, warmer, hot. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri? Yeah. I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right. No time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, sorry. The potential Cirilla. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. I meant to tell you. Signal's growing stronger.
Savola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. You gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and then scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. from this old master down in Zeracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? It seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! Moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There was a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Cave entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for a crown 30 ahead. 
So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside... Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Help! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hide, almost always. Fine. Let's go. safe now. No! No! Help! Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the foglets to take care of now. drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Enough said. Of course, the noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint than Witcher. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. 
Foglitz remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe? Mind not stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. What? Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Ugh. The place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? What? Ah, so soft and sweet. Just sleep in there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. We ought to be careful. This is their turf. Couple of trolls got you soiling your knickers? Was bold and brash once, like you. Then I took a pitchfork in the gut. Peasant kid, not a troll. I almost died. Hard way to learn, but I did. Come on. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Ha! <laughs> See him shit and run as soon as he saw us.
which has is to walk no more. The stops? Yeah. East Mountain, Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Take my advice. You don't want to mess with us. Trolley, advice take? No! Trolls advice. And witches' takes must it. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> Mm-hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death! Understanded? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know the Witchesy Castle. Rock Slotfler. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause, uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll, rock, troll. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky, talky. Witcher, wood? Only you. Witchesy's monster kills trolls' monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. To go this. Use sharp backlabs leave here. Use pass. No greens. We smash. All right. We'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Black lick metal. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. I think you might have missed your calling. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Your memory's shit. They only kill harmful monsters. They threw stone... Denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? Go. Right. 
phylacteries in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow. Truly great story. Isn't it? Real side-splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Need to get our swords. But you're with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Bitches is sharp. Back club takes and home goes. Mm hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Gerald, let's go. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir. Be Eskel's prince. No one else has left the keep recently.
horse. What's its name? Foot scorpion. Prince. And hoof Beautiful prince. animal. A goat. Interesting. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, the stench. tracks. The nose knows. Didn't tie itself to this state. Supposed to be forktail bait. 
Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forked tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. Den's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Looks aren't everything. Certainly not to all women. You're right. But most like a full purse, too. Don't have much to brag about in that domain, either. Shh. Hear Incoming. There it is. I see it. Kicked a bad day to leave its nest. Big bastard! We can handle this. Come on. Foul overgrown reptiles. Hate it when they do that. Might have saved us some trouble. Let us kill it now. Bleeding heavily. Maybe gun Human itself. Artery. Run a spit Blood's down its throat colored. and out its ass. Can't fly much further. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have it. <laughs> Scorpion's a warhorse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. Nope. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. We broke its wing, I think. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. It's gonna make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Great. Let's go. Say to a little race, maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. 
And who's the better rider? Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, more hen wins! Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Since you insist? Here. Use it wisely. stronger. Shit, lost the signal. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger.
Can't be far now. Witchering just never took off. Ah, there ah. you are. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kidnail Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kedmil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse, one we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil folie, gled of dawn ebtenid bondro isne iacus. Recognize the dialect? Leith and undoid. Meaning? The so-called one speech. A forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle. Inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. 
Thank you, Ensevern. Vafail. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. The Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this lathe and Undod... Then it's old. Very, very old. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Kaer Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself. Or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. All right, what did I do this time? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside. 
without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Or three. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs>